Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love and romance reading for April 2018. This is a general reading, so for further messages please check your Venus, Moon or Rising sign videos. If you would like a private reading with me, all the information you need is in the description link. So go ahead, send me an email and I will arrange you to have a private reading with me. Okay, so let's see what's going on in your past. So in your recent past, you have very soon... Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then we've got the Three of Gabriel. This says, Prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. And we've got the Magician. So someone here was able to manifest a situation. Or they tried to manifest a situation. Okay. Um, so, you know... Whether it's a reunion or whether there was just something that you wanted from this person. It looks as though, you know, you try to, you know, to kind of manifest it with the very soon card. It's like um, it could still be in the process of unfolding. Okay, but, um, you know, there are some kind of plans or something that you want that, you know, has turned out as expected or it's in the process of happening still. So... In the present, we have the Empress and we have the Two of Wands. So for some of you, this could be somebody new or it could be a pregnancy. But here we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So some of you are currently separated. Clarification on separation. Clarification and separation. <clears throat> Clarification and separation. Clarification. Okay. So some of you could be separated from a fire sign. It doesn't have to be. Or there's a separation due to a fire sign. Clarification and separation. For some of you it's an Aries. Or someone who... Um, the Emperor is a very powerful male or masculine figure. Okay, So um, it could be someone that you've dealt with in work. Um, it could just be a Aries in general. Or it could be some kind of authority figure. Or someone who is very kind of strong. It's like a very strong masculine energy. So I feel like you are separated. What's the reason for the separation? What's the reason for the separation? So someone's just taking some time out. What's the reason for the separation? But it could be that there is definitely a second chance. So it's like a <clears throat> so it's like a temporary separation between you and this person. Um fire energies here, although it doesn't have to be. Okay. Now you've got the Empress as well. So what I find interesting is that you know you've had the Emperor and you've got the Empress. Now both represent either a very, very feminine person or a very masculine person, but they both represent Aries. So, why is the Empress here? Clarification on the Empress. I'll just show you this card again. So, this says, time tracked upon your plans, creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So, even though there's a, <clears throat> so even though there's a separation, there's still, you know, some kind of plans. I feel like you're still waiting for something to unfold or... You know, this could be someone new that you've met as well. Clarification on the Empress. Yeah, so some of you are finding out that you're pregnant or, um, or are pregnant or have just given birth. Okay, so you've got the Nine of Cups. So this could be as well that even though you're separated from someone, it's like... You know, there's still this kind of happiness, you know, it's, you know, it's not like you're just sitting there and, you know, you're kind of upset. So it could be that, you know, you've got more than one option and you've made it, made a decision, 
you know, and you've chosen who it is that you kind of want to focus on. So, now moving on to your future. You do have let your friends help you, ask for and accept support from others. And you've got the emperor again. So stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. And this is someone from the past. So some of you have an Aries coming back. Aries is coming up really strong in your reading. Now, it could be that someone does come back. It's like you're you're trying to get someone back from the past and you're kind of putting in all this work and with the empress card here it's like it's literally right now it's in the process of happening and then you know you have someone from the past come back but it's like you're taking charge of the situation so for those of you who are single um you know, it's basically saying as well, if you're looking for someone, your friends might know someone they can kind of hook you up with or go out and socialise with friends. You could end up meeting somebody. So, but I am seeing someone from the past re-emerging, but this time you're going to take charge of it, okay? So, as an obstacle, you've got romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. You've got the seven of Raphael. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification and the Ace of Cups. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to kind of warn you. Um, I see some kind of emotional manipulation going on here. Um, and Scorpio's... They feel things so very intensely and it's like the person that you're dealing with, they know this, okay? They know that you're feeling um, emotional and I feel like there's a chance that they could kind of use this to get their way back in. So, clarification on the Ace of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here, but someone is definitely using that as a kind of weapon to manipulate somebody else so be a little bit careful here Scorpio <clears throat> clarification on the seven of cups actually let me clarify that ace of cups first clarification on the ace of cups yeah so someone is definitely hiding their feelings um or someone is being emotionally manipulative or someone's just confused about how they feel. So I'm going to now clarify the Seven of Raphael, which is the same as the Seven of Cups. I feel like someone's really kind of got to work out what they want from a situation. Clarification on the Seven of Cups. So some of you dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, um, this could be a Pisces as well. You're dealing with someone who doesn't really know what they want. Is what I feel like. They're kind of not sure um, how they feel or they're just kind of taking too long or they're just confused um it could be as well that someone has different options but i'm more just kind of feeling as though you're dealing with someone who is confused and just doesn't know what they want okay so the factors that are affecting you true love this is the romance of a lifetime but it's like you're being patient here with this person I feel like you are being patient, but at the same time, you're guarded, you're cautious. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility environmental activism. So this Nine of Gabriel is, it's like, with these cards, it's like, this is a true love, or you feel like it's a true love. You're being patient with them, but you're still kind of cautious, you're still kind of guarded. For some of you, you're being really, really persistent because you feel like this is a true love so you're kind of being persistent it's one of the two either you're being cautious or you're very very determined in this situation so the factors that are affecting 
your love interest or attraction so they're still very attracted to you and with the page of michael it could be an air sign um aquarius gemini libra an exciting new challenge you have what it takes to succeed with you contracts or documents very thoroughly and the ace of swords so this person could be kind of spying on you you know they're still very much um, attracted to you okay so it could be their they're kind of looking at your social media. They're trying to find things out about you. You might be doing this to them. Um, why is the Ace of Swords here? This person could want to communicate with you as well. Clarification on the Ace of Swords. Okay, so you may have found out a truth about this person. And it could have led to some kind of shocking truth. Or they could communicate with you out of the blue and it comes as a bit of a shock. Clarification on the Ace of Swords. Clarification on the Ace of Swords. Clarification on the Ace of Swords. So I feel as though again there has maybe been some lies here. Either you found out that this person had feelings for someone else or there was some kind of lying going on and you found out about it. Or maybe they found out about it. It can work both ways. So I'm just trying to stabilise my camera. Okay, yeah, so I feel like, you know, there may have been some truths that came out and it was all kind of a bit of a shock, okay? So what you want from the situation, you right now are trying to remain optimistic, you're trying to remain positive, and I feel like you just want closure on the situation, a very happy ending coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So... I feel Scorpio is either all in or they're all out, okay? Um, it kind of depends on what you've got in the rest of your chart. But it's like, you guys, again, you're either all in or you're all out. I'm a Scorpio rising, so, um, you know, I kind of understand that as well. I've got a lot of Scorpio in my chart. But it's like you're either all in or all out. And you want, <clears throat> you want closure, you want clarity on this situation. So you can either put yourself back into the situation or so you can just say right okay I'm going to walk away you know because I feel like either you're going to have this happy ending um or you or you're going to to walk away but I feel there's a part of you that just kind of wants that closure so where am I going what direction are we moving in you know um am I going to walk away is there going to be an ending or are we going to kind of go on to calmer waters and you know, have this happy ending that it says here. A very happy ending coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So if there's not a separation between you and somebody, um, it could just mean that that you just kind of want, you know, thing, things to come full circle. You want to start a new phase. So now what they want... Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations and visualisations help bring you together. So they're visualising you. They want you to come back. And it's kind of like a deep wish of theirs. Okay, so make a wish. Dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. But they're not revealing this to you because they're being the Queen of Swords. So again, this is air sign energy. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So it could be that this person is not showing you how they feel. Or you may not actually be showing them how you feel. So why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, so this... I feel like... It's coming to a head in the sense that this person is at a frustration level as well. Either... They're going to cut out the bullshit or they want to come back in. But I feel like both of you, um, it kind of feels like someone may be making the effort 
But then again, it could be that neither of you are making the effort with one another right now. And both of you are just kind of being stubborn. So this person wants to know if you're coming back or if or if they're coming back to you. If not, they just want to cut out the bullshit, basically. And I feel like you two are on the same page. Either we're going to leave each other alone or we're going to sort it out. You know, um, I feel like with you two, there's no in-between. We're either together 100% or we're away from each other 100%. That's kind of how this feels and what the cards are saying. So it's kind of make your mind up time, Scorpio. Do you want to be with this person or not? So the overall energy is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And you've got the Ace of Gabriel. A gift of passion, opportunity and inspiration. A chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. So you're really kind of thinking about this or they're really thinking about it. Um, you know, I feel like this person is thinking about you a lot or you're thinking about this person a lot. Now, in your overall energy, there is a new start and someone is going to tell you how they feel. Okay, or they're wanting to, but they're still slightly anxious. So it looks as though you two are going to settle your differences and there will be um, a opportunity to start things again. So it looks as though either you're going to contact them or they're going to contact you and you will, you know, find a way to speak to one another or to meet up again and to restart things again. So, but it's, it's going to take for someone to release, okay? This may not be... Um, literally releasing a person it could just be time to clear your energy and it's like a huge burden so for some of you this is a fellow water sign page of cups okay why is the release your ex card here why is the release your ex card here so the wheel of fortune <clears throat> Why has the release your ex? Okay, so in order to move the situation forward, you need to take charge of the situation. It could be that you need to release this person just for a little bit. There is a chance to reunite, but at the same time, you do need to take charge of the situation in order to move it forward because the Emperor is all about taking charge. It could be at Aries. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is all about, you know, things being on your side, you having good luck in a situation. So, release your ex. Clarification and release your ex. Yeah, so you need to release yourself from a situation that has caused you heartbreak. So, for some of you... There will be a turnaround with an Aries or a water sign, but you need to let go of any kind of heartbreak. So I don't see this um, release your ex card as actually releasing a person. I mean, it can definitely mean that. But at the same time, um, <clears throat> you have to use your own intuition here as well. If you feel like this is asking you to leave this person because they've caused you heartbreak, then, you know take what resonates with you but there is a chance to turn it around but it's going to um, require you to take charge of the situation okay and there could be a negative habit here as well where things are kind of um, heavy on your shoulders and you could be trying or this person could be trying too hard or it could be vice versa but they're saying ask your angels for helpful people too light on your load, working too many hours, trying too hard to please others. So I feel like someone here is going to try really hard to um, make amends, you know, but it's like it's a huge burden for some reason. So I'm going to clarify this. Why is the Ten of Gabriel here? Okay, so someone is trying really hard to make this Ten of Cups happen. And this could be what causes the change around. So, just a brief summary of this reading before I move on to my element spread. Um, I definitely feel as though both of you are kind of being um, at a standstill right now. 
both of you want to work it out but it's kind of like this all in or all out but there is um, um a definite chance that someone is coming back from the past you know you've got two different cards here so this is someone coming back from the past and in your overall energy you've got the ace of cups which is a new start so some of you as well may have new love coming in with the ace of um gabriel as well because it start um it represents something new as well so there's a new start for you in this person um but the kind of challenge is for one of you to make up your mind about how you feel and to try and get over any past heartbreak so i'm going to move on to my element spread which is basically where um, i look at the different elements that you're dealing with so earth air fire water and then you can get further messages as you know so if you're dealing with an air sign um it'll kind of go go a bit more in depth but i'm doing it for all elements fire air earth and water Okay, Scorpio, so here we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire signs, air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, and we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, earth signs. So I'm going to see what's going on for all of you who are dealing with these particular signs. So I'm going to start by pulling the Romance Angel. Okay, love and romance messages for... Scorpios dealing with fire signs for April 2018. Love and romance messages for Scorpio dealing with fire signs for April 2000. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So, love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with air signs for April 2018. Religious factors, your love life is being influenced by, by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I'm just laying out the romance angels. Um, I'm going to pull um, other cards as well. I just kind of want to pull all the romance angels and then I'll move on to more specific messages. So love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with fellow water signs for April 2018. Love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with fellow water signs for April. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for some of you, you you may have met someone new and they've um they're either a water sign or they've got a lot of water in their chart. So okay, Scorpios dealing with earth signs for April 2018. You have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So for some of you, you, you are getting to know a earth sign on a more deeper level. Okay, so now I've laid out all of the romance angels. I'm going to st start um, with fire properly. Okay, so I'm going to pull cards. So let's get more in-depth messages. What messages do you have for Scorpios dealing with fire signs for April 2018? Ace of April, so there is a new start. It's your lucky day, new resources of money, time or support, a change in a job or a promotion. <clears throat> so some of you may be meeting a fire sign at work or there's um, a new fire sign entering your life or there's a new start with a fire sign. Okay. Love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with fire signs for April 2018. So it's important to have balance work in multiple jobs or projects at once, making work fun. So I feel like this person has a lot going on. Why is the two of Ariel here? Yeah, okay. I think you need to be careful of this fire sign because they may... Um, have someone attached to them or they may have different options and this could be why the seven of um, Raphael was in your was in your um, 
was in your barriers because um, it's someone kind of having multiple options. I feel like it could be a fire sign. You're dealing with a fire sign who may have different options, so just be careful of that, okay? Um, and again, this person may know that you're emotional. There is a new chance to um, have something with them, but they're kind of bringing a third party situation or they just have different options. Um, and it goes back to the whole emotional manipulation. They know you're emotional. Okay, so just be a little bit careful of them. Messages for Scorpios dealing with fire signs for April 2018. Yeah, so you need to make a decision about this person. Release yourself from that which holds you back and, and need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So, I feel like this person could be bringing um, a toxic situation to you, okay? And I think it's involving more than one person. So, either there's a new start but there's something not quite right about it in the sense that it's a little bit toxic or, um, again, they've just got different options. So... There is a chance to rekindle and to reunite with this person. However, just be a little bit cautious, okay, Scorpio? So now I'm going to move on to air signs. So for Scorpios dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. What's the love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with air signs for April 2018? The star. So some of you dealing with an Aquarius... A dream comes true, believe in yourself, the end of a difficult situation. So some of you may just have slight differences, okay? Um, so I feel as though maybe you just have different morals or just a different way of looking at things. You might be from different religious backgrounds. Um, but, you know, it's saying have faith in the situation. Oh, um, and sorry, going back to the fire energy... I didn't really talk about the worth waiting for card. I feel like some of you are waiting for um, a new start with a fire sign. I feel like you're you're waiting for this fire sign, or this fire sign could even be waiting for you. Um, and again, there will be a new start. So I just kind of wanted to speak about the worth waiting for card. So back to Scorpios dealing with air signs. So. There's some kind of moral differences or just, you know, some kind of differences. Um, you know, this person could be from a different background to you. But, you know, they're saying the dream comes true. And to have faith in the situation. Messages for Scorpios dealing with air signs for April 2018. So there may be some arguments, but with the star card here, um, it could be that, you know, if you two have been having arguments that they're, you know, that they're kind of going to heal. Um, and it's just due to, um, you know, kind of differences that you two may have. So I do feel so there may be some arguments, but they will heal with the star. The stars are very healing energy. Love and Romance messages for Scorpios dealing with air signs for April 2018. The Four of Michael. So insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. So um, you did have the separation card. So some of you may be separated from an air sign right now because of arguments, but it will heal. One more card. Scorpios dealing with air signs for April 2018. Yeah, so you, so you will receive some kind of message, a great deal of activity, sudden and important results, important <coughs> important um, messages and communication. So it seems like there may be a time of rest, but. Um, if you and this person have a bit of a falling out, it will definitely resolve and this person will contact you and whatever arguments you and this person have had, it's going to heal, okay? And it's just due to you two having um, some minor differences. So I'm going to move on to Scorpios dealing with fellow water signs. 
I'm going to change my deck to the Rider Waite deck because I've used a lot of cards here, so I just want them. I just kind of want to balance it out. So, what's going on for Scorpio is dealing with fellow water signs for April 2018. So, some of you definitely have a new love. That's a water sign, or um, this person may just have a lot of water in their chart. So, love moments messages for Scorpios dealing with water signs for April 2018. Love moments messages for Scorpios dealing with water signs. Hmm. Okay, so this person is kind of stubborn. You will get some kind of success. So, why is the Four of Pentacles here? Okay, right. So, I feel like this person, it may even be you, Scorpio, but one of you's been hurt. So, one of you um, has been a little bit stubborn and you've got a bit of a guard up, or they've got a bit of a guard up, but you will have some kind of success with this person. So I wouldn't completely rule them out. So love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with fellow water signs for April 2018. Okay, we've got the devil again. Why is the devil here? Clarification, the devil. So here we've got the Eight of Pentacles. So this person may be a workaholic, okay? They may have some kind of issues. Um, you know, they may have a huge focus on money, okay? And with the Four of Pentacles as well, it's like, you know, someone's kind of um, holding on to money or they're just, yeah. I definitely feel as though someone's been really, really cautious with money. I feel like someone's working a lot of hours um, and they're just being really, really cautious. So it could be, you know, again, that this person just, you know, does have a bit of a wall up and a bit of a guard up. So I would say if you're dealing with a water with a water sign, um, just kind of see how it goes. But I feel like this person is very much going to be into their work. Which is kind of strange um, for water signs, you know, because unless there's a lot of earth there, water signs aren't usually workaholics, you know, because they like to be in an environment where they feel good. Um, you know, they like to surround themselves with people they trust, you know, and people they have deep bonds with. So I'm kind of surprised that that's come out. But, you know, um, yeah, I feel like one of you, if you're dealing with a fellow water sign, is very much focused on work, being a little bit materialistic, not in a bad way, but um, you know, this person may even have money um may even have slight money worries. And maybe they're just trying to keep it from you. You know, this person might have bad debt or something like that. So now I'm gonna move on to Earth signs. So, what's the love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with Earth signs for April 2018? Temperance, okay. So, there will be harmony, okay. Now, if this is someone new, it's going to be perfect timing. And I feel like it might be someone new because you've got the getting to know each other card. So some of you have either a new water sign or a new earth sign coming in. Um, I feel like if you're currently dealing with an earth sign, you're going to get to know one another. And it's just going to be kind of harmonious spending time with them. You know, I feel like... Like you're going to enjoy being in this person's company. They're going to enjoy being in your company. So. What's going on for Scorpios? Dealing with Earth signs for April 2018. What's 
going on for Scorpios, dealing with Earth signs for April 2018. Yeah, okay, so. I feel like there will be some kind of celebration or some kind of reuniting. So if this is someone from the past, then there's a chance you will reunite with this person. Or again, it could just mean that maybe you kind of go out and just, you know, have fun and enjoy spending time with one another, going to restaurants or that kind of thing. Okay, what love and romance messages do you have for Scorpios dealing with Earth signs for April 2018? Okay, so this person, <clears throat> either you or this person have have um, options, okay, because you've got the three of cups and then you've got the seven of cups. So um, if you are actually getting to know this person, just bear in mind that they may be dating other people as well. So if you're just dating this person, I feel like maybe they're just kind of assessing what it is that they want and they may be, you know, um, speaking to other people as well. Or it could be that, you know, this person is getting to know you and they're going through a phase of they're just figuring out what it is that they, you know, um, what they want or what they want to do. So, <clears throat> love and romance messages for Scorpios dealing with Earth signs for April 2018. Love and romance messages for Scorpios. Love and Moments messages for Scorpios dealing with Earth signs for April 2000. Oh. Okay, so we've got the Queen of Swords. So either you are going to cut out the bullshit with this person or they're going to do that with you. And why is the Queen of Swords here? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Okay, so again, it might be that this person does have um, other options and it could be an air sign and an earth sign. So, I feel like there is a lot of um, third party stuff going on. Or there is a lot of manipulation kind of going on. Just be a little bit careful. You will get somewhere in the end. But just be a, be a little bit cautious throughout April. Okay, Scorpio? Um, you know, because there will be a new start for you by the end of April. But, you know, it just... It might not be 100% plain, plain sailing for you. Alright? So, if you are dealing with someone, particularly a fire sign or an earth sign, just be a little bit cautious. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I'm sure you guys will have a good time in love by the end of April. Everything's going to, you know, work out and fit into place. So um, again, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you would like a private reading with me, all the information you need is in the description box. So I'll see you for next month's reading. Bye Scorpio.